This launched as the same time as the Call Me Baby palette, but I'm just now getting around to actually filming this video. <laughs> Hey guys, Madison Roy here. Welcome to my channel. Welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are reviewing the Just Say Zen palette. This is a nine pan Morphe palette that came out with the... Let me just move all of this stuff and make a lot of noise. Um, the nine pan Call Me Baby palette. Um, we love her. I It's not as dug into as some of my other palettes, but we love her. She's really cute. She was spicy. She's pink. It's a go-to pink palette, and I, I, I really like it. Um, but I have not heard good things about this palette, so that makes me wonder, are they the same formula? Are they worth it, I guess? Because I got them around the same time when they launched. Um, I thought this palette, honestly, I wanted this palette a lot more for the little colors that were in it. I thought they were cute. Um, it does have a lot more deeper colors than that one did. This one was kind of more light and fun and all that kind of stuff and very pink. So this is a blue version. Again, every review I've seen has not been the greatest. So I don't know what to expect going into it. I'm really hoping that it has the formula that the other palette had because they're nine pound pounds. Like this is what I don't get about Morphe. They have some cute palettes. They have some good formula, but they don't have good consistency between their products. But like, look at this. That looks so cool. That looks so good on camera. Like, it looks so nice. So, the purples, the mint, that mint, that was the reason. That was the entire reason. Um, but I love it. I'm about to do the nice little peel if I can get it off. Yeah, we love that. Um, so yeah, might do some kind of softish purple. It does have like a navy in there too, which like I needed a navy color like last year and didn't have one. So I think it's kind of neat. Um, but we're going to go on with this palette. I'm thinking I might use this as maybe a cute little like St. Patty's Day look. Not like the one I'm filming on here, but for like a collab I'm doing with a group of people. So like that green's looking appetizing. So what I think I'm going to do um, is prime my eyes. My eyes aren't even primed. What is wrong with me? And now that we have our eyes primed, I think I'm gonna go in with the little nude color right there. It's kind of pinky. I just kind of want to see what it does. So I'm gonna just dab it on here. It does have a bit of a pink tint to it. So it's interesting, but it's still very nude, which is interesting. So it's still a color, but it's still very nude. So we're gonna leave that up there. We're gonna have a shimmer up there anyway. I also wanna see if these are like good highlighters. <sighs> okay, so um, I think I'm gonna take this little purple moment. I think it's gonna be like a purple and green moment. So I'm gonna put that in my outer corner and slowly kind of like work my way up and kind of start shaping it and I'm also going to put it like in my crease and then I'm going to kind of smoke out the edges with the dark purple so first thing I'm noticing though it is kind of it's buildable but it is kind of hard to get it to start blending out but it's still there so it kind of looks better-ish off the camera um I don't know that purple wasn't hidden. Um, hopefully this looks a little better after I'm done. We'll see. Um, I'm gonna take that deep dark purple and just kind of put it at the end. That light color really wasn't giving anything. And now this color is giving more than the other one did. So we'll just kind of try to smoke it out a bit. And then we would use that lovely little shade of green. We're gonna use the green shimmer as well um but we'll see i have very scary hopes i guess i do want to put this out here they are hard to blend they are so hard to blend we have somewhat of a decent thing going um i had to go in with a hip dot like nude color and like fix a lot of things um still need to fix that bottom half but we're gonna move on because i physically just can't deal with this anymore um, so I'm taking that mint green, that one that I loved from the very beginning, and we'll see how 
that works. We're just gonna drop that on and try to blend it into the corner. It's just gonna go on the lid and then it will be a shiny shimmer moment on top. It makes me genuinely sad because the pastels all of it just doesn't blend well like i I've, I've been here for like an hour i'm sad the shimmer looks gorgeous like look at her do you want like a green little shimmery moment or like a little like that was supposed to be purple but i did get like a really little dab of it or like a cute little purple moment or like these, these would make really cute, like little colorful highlighters. Like I'm down for them. Like these shimmers, everything. Um, these mattes, I tried, like I tried so hard. The purples would not blend. The green did fine. Like the little mint color, like it actually looks really decent. Um, but like three out of what one, cause I didn't try the brown or the navy. Like. The two that three that I tried make me very sad. Um, and it's so weird because where is it at? The Call Me Baby one literally was so good. It blended so well, it made the prettiest look. And I don't understand. Like, these came out at the same exact time. Why does one get a better formula than the other? Like, why can't these blend? And I'm sitting here like I am blending them out, trying to fix them. It does not look good. It does not look happy. I look sad. Um, maybe the only way I could make this work, let's see, other than doing like little shimmer moment, because even then, like me just doing this, it does not even want to like come off my finger. I don't know what it is about these mats, but like. The only way I could possibly ever be able to use this palette. Like, look at that. Like, how? It's the same amount. Just blend. Even this is, like, just annoying. So after I get it somewhat blended out, probably something I could do is just a cute little, like, shimmer moment in the inner corner. Like, that could be cute. Or just go all in and just do a shimmer eye look. Because, you know what? Why not? We love a shimmer moment. It's cute. Put it in the little outer corner. And just dab, 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 dab. I normally don't use my fingers, but like, I just am so annoyed that that's what's happening right now. And it's like, just one of those things you're gonna have to like, just mess with it to make it work. Because this is not it. I would much rather just have a purple shimmer moment than whatever this is. And it's like, it wasn't even like just weird colors. Like they just wouldn't blend. <sighs> the shimmers are pretty though, but I would not recommend buying an eye pan palette just for three shimmers. Um, I do not recommend this at all. I absolutely hate it. And I'm gonna go clean my eyes off now because why? Um, I'm very sad. I had high hopes for it considering how good the pink palette was. And it blows my mind. They were released at the same exact time. They were a pair. That's why I got them. <sighs> well, disappointing. Um, do not get the stays in because it really just, it will not blend. The shimmers are very pretty though. So if you get gifted this, it's not the end of the world. Use the shimmers. Um, but other than that, like what even is this? Like, I hate this. Um, I'll be right back. I was gonna do like a whole nother part of this video and now I'm just upset. And now I don't want to do anything. Like I have, I have lashes to test and a bunch of other stuff. And like now I'm just pissed. But yeah, that was this is my review. I'm not even gonna continue with like my makeup and stuff and doing lashes and all that because trash. Don't like it. Use it as like paint pigments. I think there's one girl that uses eyeshadow as like watercolor paint. Do stuff like that. Find a use for it. You know. Um, do not gift this to somebody. <laughs> <laughs> because that is just mean. If somebody gifts it to you, do not re-gift it. Figure out something for it. Like that's, ah, I cannot get over it. It's so, I don't know, this is, these two palettes, 
let me see I like this one it was gorgeous like it looks looks so pretty i was this is great i i use this a lot and i just can't get over how bad this was and i was like going into it i was like this looks like a really good palette i think maybe people are just over exaggerating because so many people have said this palette not it but i was like let me go into it let me figure it out maybe maybe something's just weird maybe it takes extra buffing maybe it takes this or that girl was buffing too long um you should not have to buff that long just to have some kind of like simple testing of the makeup it comes down to the point it either works or it doesn't it doesn't work for me if you feel like it let's see if it works for you but personally i say don't even waste your money there is so many other palettes that are cheaper that have these same colors that work 10 times better so that being said that is the end of the video um i am now just in a bad mood so that's lovely but that's the end of the video thank you so much for watching leave a like comment subscribe all that good stuff if you're new here if you're not new here turn on the bell so you're notified every time i upload which is every wednesday and friday and i'll see y'all next time